Hi everyone, my name is Brian Dwecky and if you follow me on Instagram, it used to be 204 Gentleman, but it has changed to Brian underscore Dwecky, D-U-A-Q-U-I underscore fitness. So who I am or who am I? So that is the big question a lot of people are asking me and a lot of people around me as well too. So let's go back, let's just say 20 years. I've been lifting for 20 years. I've been bodybuilding for 20 years. So ever since I was about 14, 15, um, didn't get into the competition field till about 2009. Like I've always wanted to compete myself. And for me during that time when I was like 14, 15, all the way up to like 21, 22, I had no clue, zero clue how to train properly. I just did whatever the magazines told me to do and you know following like our Artie's um, diet and workout routine plan I thought it was uh, game on right and throughout all the years throughout all my training years what I've found is that I'm different I'm different from the pros I'm different from you I'm different from like everyone else I had to find what works for me Okay, and when I first started my first bodybuilding competition in 2009, I really didn't have any help except for my cousin Kim and her husband um, Sam, who were competitors as well too, and it was just small little help that brought me to where I am today. Okay, so let's go into what I actually do. So I've been in finance for about seven, eight years. So uh, I did, I did a, a lot of manual labor. I used to build furniture for a living. But up until recently, I wanted to take a role as a personal trainer. So I took a position at a local gym here, a commercial gym, uh, as a personal trainer, and I tried it out. And you know what? It was a really good experience because I've always wanted to get into personal training. Okay. And knowing the, from the fact that coming from my background of finance, going into personal training, I knew it was gonna, it wasn't going to be easy because going from numbers to actually training people is totally different. However when I transitioned to that phase, I actually enjoyed it, I loved it. However, I found out that it wasn't for me, it was a good experience, but it wasn't for me. It took up a lot of my time, uh, but you know, I, I taught a lot of people and I actually you know, received a lot of education for myself as well too, to help me proceed to where I am today. So what I do career-wise, so basically I am an online coach or online trainer, whatever you call it. I do practice this thing called If It Fits Your Macro. So I don't know if you guys ever heard it, IIFYM or Flexible Dieting. Okay. So way back then, way back a couple of years, um, let's say three or four years ago, when I stumbled upon this, you know, if it fits your macros, a lot of people are saying, yeah, you could get to your physical goals, you can get ripped, jack, lean by eating Pop-Tarts, donuts all day. That was awesome, right? No, it sounds like a, sounds like a magical fairy tale. However, yes, I did fall into that trap. I, I did eat a bunch of junk food, you know, and, but it was a learning curve. And that, that's what If It Fits Your Macros is not about. This is not what flexible dieting is about. So flexible dieting is about eating all your favorite foods in moderation. So we like to have a ratio of about 80 to 90% healthy or clean foods and 10 to 20% uh, non-clean or junk foods or non-satiating foods. So the 80 to 90% you're looking at your chicken breast, your veggies, uh, your lean ground beef, foods like that. The 10 to 20 percent, you're looking at, of course, your Pop-Tarts, your donuts, your chocolate bars, fat-free candy, all sorts, right? The fun foods. So, 
for me, I love the fun foods. I live with it all my life. And I used to do the whole, you know, six days of clean eating or healthy eating, whatever you want to call it, and then have this one whole day binge fest to myself. What I found through research is that it's very simple to take that one whole binge day and break it down into seven smaller days. So basically when I wake up on Monday, I don't have to wait till Saturday to have my favorite foods. I can have s smaller bits and portions every single day if I wanted to, which keeps me, which keeps my sanity there, um, which keeps me mentally there, and which keeps me satiated. So it keeps me full at the same time. And I enjoyed it. I love it. And this is, to me, this is a long-term lifestyle. And it has been proven to work. Uh, the only people that this, this does not work for is for people that c cannot control their binge. Okay. So if I say, Joe, here is a box of pizza. I know you love pizza. This is your favorite food. But if I said that you can only get one slice out of this entire box, you'd probably say, no, I want the entire box. Or you would probably go behind my back or, and lie to me and, and finish the entire box. Okay. That's what flexible diet is, is not about. And those uh, type of people that do binge or closet binge, it will actually lead them to destruction or sabotage their diets. Okay. It's it's a great lifestyle. However, of course, you do have to uh, moderate your foods on a daily. Okay. Um, you could meal prep. Um, for me personally, I don't do meal prep. I don't. Uh, I don't. I don't like it. I like having foods on the go. Right? I like having fresh foods. You know? If I like to create a casserole or if I want to have like a cheeseburger or something, I'll, I'll have it. But I'll account for it through my macronutrients. Macros, which are your protein, carbs, and your fats, which basically equals your calorie intake for the day. Okay? So as long as you get your macros or your calories by the end of the day, 11.59, 59, 59, p.m. you are good the next day 12 a.m. it resets okay so that's what flexible dieting is that's what if it fits your macros is so a lot of people are quizzing me about that and that's basically what it is and as an online coach I'm running about 30 to 33 clients full-time clients right now and these people are f from local here where I live spanning all day from Calgary to BC and I already have three clients in LA right and it is something that a lot of people derive from the the other diet the long or the uh, clean eating diet because they cannot handle just clean eating for the entire week and then waiting for the for the Saturday to come next thing you know when they do have their binge fest or what have you, they feel sick the next day. And to me, that's kind of like having a bad relationship with food. Food is food. You gotta love food. Food is here to stay. And there are millions and millions of different types of food. And for me personally, I believe that food is meant to be lived and enjoyed. All right? Lived and enjoyed. Life is short, as it is already. So fear-mongering certain foods shouldn't be like that, okay? We should not be living day-to-day -day fearing different types of foods, thinking that, oh, it's going to make me fat, it's going to give me cancer, things like this. If you have it in small moderation, small concentration moderation, there's nothing to fear about, you know? You get to have fun with it, you get to enjoy it, you know, don't tell me one day you're going to go travel to Mexico, Cuba, or the Philippines and not try the foods there. Okay? 
Granted, yes. Probably not raised in a farm or you, it's not organic, whatever, and it's fried right on the street. Don't tell me you're not going to have that. You know, life is short. you got to enjoy it. You know, this is what it's about. This is what flexible dieting is about. It's being accountable to yourself. It's being accountable to your whatever your physical goal, whatever your mental goal, whatever whatever goal you want to achieve. You know, got a small moderation. Got to have fun with it. Life is short, All right?